Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Alex Williams and you're watching Funnigan Games. Today we're going to be unboxing Anachrony. We're also going to be unboxing the expansion, the Exosuit Commander Pack. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. This is uh, part one. We're going to be doing the uh, core game first and then quickly after that video we're going to be doing the uh, Exosuit Commander Pack. So let's get started. As I was saying, Anachrony is from Mind Clash Games. It plays uh, one to four players and plays at about 30 minutes per player. Uh, probably plays a little bit longer than that when you're first starting. Probably your first couple of games will be a little longer than that. Uh, like I said, it's, it was from Mind Clash Games. It was on Kickstarter. Very popular game. It's It just looks amazing. So let's just, just get right into it. So, as you can see, the, the, the box is uh, pretty big. I love the uh, the logo here. But uh, I'm going to turn it sideways so we can actually see what's in the box. Okay, and I actually opened this one without too much trouble. <laughs> Alright, the plastic is off. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is actually... Um, beveled a little bit, which is really nice touch. Open this up. All right, and there it is. So first, we have our uh, Anachrony rule book. We have it in uh, several different languages. We have what looks like our boards. This is going to be. Uh, player boards as well as uh, our main board it looks like. Open that up here in a second. <laughs> I did turn off my audio for a little bit but accidentally. Here are just so many tiles and we'll go over these a little bit more in detail but uh, you have banners for each of your paths. If I didn't mention by the way you can choose one of four paths you have uh, Harmony, Dominance, I believe, um, Progress, and I forget what the red one is called. Progress and Salvation. Salvation. So like I said, we have lots of tiles. These here are your, um, your Exosuit Hexes. These will be how you play in the core game. Once we get to the expansion, you'll see that these can actually be replaced with uh, full-scale miniatures, and those are really cool looking. You've got workers. This is going to be um, how you play the, the main part of the game. Is you've got workers, uh, you have administrators, you have scientists, brains, and uh, another kind, if I can find it. Uh, I believe those are scientists, actually. Anyway, these, uh, these are how you'll play the game because you'll be placing these guys around the board and on your player board to execute certain actions. Another, probably one of the coolest features of this game is you'll see these. These are the, uh, the timeline tiles. Uh, during your timeline tiles, these each represent an era, which is several years. And during that era, you can travel through time, or at least get resources from the future. Each time you do that, though, you uh, risk an anomaly, which could uh, hurt you later on. All right. Now we're going to get into some of the smaller pieces. We have resource cubes, which are these awesome little cubes here can see in several different colors and uh, I'm not sure exactly what they are I think that's neutronium you have gold you have uranium which is green and then titanium which is the gray in that pack you also have 
uh, your water, your water drops, which, you know, just two different colors, dark blue and light blue. So, uh, James, you were asking if the, uh, the minis are a Kickstarter perk. They were a Kickstarter perk, but uh, we will have the Exosuit Commander Pack available, and we will be unboxing this a little bit later, too. That has the miniatures in it that will uh, replace those hex tiles. So, just so you know. Of course, we have our bags to keep things organized. I love it when games do that. These are the only dice in the entire game. Uh, these dice will determine a few things. One of the things it determines is uh, whether or not you suffer an anomaly when uh, messing with time travel. Um, there are Some of these other dice are actually only for solo play. There are options to play this game completely without dice, at least in the, uh, the multiplayer version of it. Um, that way, if you're more into predictability and don't want any dice at all, you can play it without dice. <clears throat> these are the stands that your banners will go on. The uh, banners were part of those tiles, as I said. And get into, let's see, we got a score pad. Of course, how you'll keep track of your score throughout the game. And we've got our card packs. So we've got mini cards, larger cards, and then your standard card size. We'll open those up too. All right, and that is it that's inside of the box. Getting into a few more details here, let's uh, open up the board pack here. As in a lot of uh, worker placement games, Anachrony has multiple boards. Instead of just the one singular game board, you also have player boards. So these here are our player boards. There are four of them, one for each path. Uh, salvation, progress. Oh, that one's actually for the solo play. This is for the um, Chronobot components. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, this is for dominance and of course harmony. And these are actually double-sided too. And you might not see much of a difference just looking at here on the video. But uh, one side, the A side for every single one of them, are the same, and it keeps it very, um, you know, straightforward. But then if you flip them over, it becomes asymmetrical, and each uh, player board has different abilities and different possibilities. So if you're playing on the B side, you might want to consider your, your path just a little bit more. Let's look at the actual board here. It's not a huge board, which is pretty good. Again, it's double-sided. We have two sides. I'm not sure on this one what the uh, differences are between the two. Let's see. But like many worker placement, uh, this is where you'll place uh, your workers. Actually, technically, you'll be placing your uh, exosuits here first. Then you'll place your workers in your exosuits to uh, do the actions that are there. This here is actually kind of an interesting uh, piece of the, the game because you have a separate uh, piece here. This is the, I think, the impact board. The evacuation action tile, that's what it's called. Because during the timeline, once uh, you get about halfway through the game, there'll be an impact and you will wind up flipping that over and it'll change the game. So, pretty cool there. And then finally, we have um, path boards. These um, are where you will uh, place your leaders and get your starting resources. 
again, these are dual sided. I think these might actually be the asymmetrical dual sided ones. I'm not sure if the actual player boards are not, or are or are not. So. We have this tiny board here, which is the Doomsday board. Uh, this is in a what's called the Doomsday module, and this is only for a, a specific, um, I think, either time of the game or uh, version of the game. I think it's after the impact happens, then you kind of start a countdown to the end of the game. So that's how you use that. All right, let's get into these cards a little bit. Let's see if I can even open these cards. <laughs> well, at least you know that they are wrapped well. That arm is really not good at opening plastic. Like I said, these are the uh, standard sized cards. These are actually the... I see, these are the uh, level experiments. There's level one and level two experiments. And these are used in the, uh, the Doomsday module. smaller cards here. I'm going to have a little bit more trouble with these than I did with the uh, larger cards. At least I need a tool to open these up. So, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> Very helpful man, that guy. These are your... Uh, I believe these are your recruit pool and your mind pool cards, as well as uh, starting asset cards and end game condition cards. There's, there's a lot of different cards in here. You will have to sort through them, uh, but these are the cards. Use these handy dandy scissor things that Nick brought in. Still didn't quite get it. There we go. All right, now these are uh, cards that will help you, you know, keep track of the game phases and what to do during or after the impact. Several different languages again on those. You'll also have your leader cards in here. Each uh, path has two different leaders. Let's see if I can find the other uh, progress leader here. There he is. So each one will have two different leaders, which do two different things. That is it for the cards. I'm not going to pop all these out, so don't worry. We're not going to be here for that long. But I did want to get just a little bit closer and look at some of these things. Like up here, we have... As I was saying, these guys 
are your workers. I'll pop out one of each so you can get a slightly closer look. Okay, so you have lots of these little workers here. And they're in four different uh, specialties, professions. The uh, geniuses here can actually act as any of the other three normally. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, you have your different hexes for uh, which will take place of your, your exosuits right now. Uh, if you get the expansion, like I said, you can get the, uh, the miniatures that will replace that. Other than that, there are tons of tiles for you to pop out and organize in order to play your game. Like I was saying earlier, this is the uh, Chronobot uh, player board. And this is what you'll use when you are playing a solo game. Um, you're basically going to be setting up a two-player game, but the Chronobot will be one of the players. And they're pretty much automated. Alright, that is it for what's inside of the Anachrony box. Uh, aside from, you know, popping out all the tiles, that is, that is pretty much it. Um, Anachrony you can find on funagain.com right now. I don't think that the pre-orders are up yet, but you can click the notify me button to know when it is available for pre-order. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be back in just one second. We'll open up the Exosuit uh, Commander Pack.